Hello everybody and welcome to the part number 5 of Let's Play Animal Crossing New Horizons. We are back now for today's news. Ta-da! Today Bayberry has its very own museum! Oh yes, it's a grand museum indeed, with separate exhibit rooms for insects, fish and fossils. Blatter's museum curator says he's always available to accept donations or assess fossils. And museum admissions is free, so stop by whenever you like. Also, my staff Timmy and Tommy opened up their new shop today. We're full of news. It's a small shop, but they'll change stock daily and carry a selection of goods sure to better your island life. Come by from 8 a.m. to 10 p.m. daily, and if the store is closed, simply use their drop-off box to sell your I Oh my gosh, that is cool. Oh, one more thing. To celebrate the opening of the shop, we've added a new catalog service to Nuke Shopping. The catalog lets customers see a record of items they've obtained or purchased. Any mass marketed items can be ordered directly through the catalog, so make a good use of it. Okay. Now then, with all this said, I hope everyone takes advantage of the new Nuke's granny. By the way, whenever we cover big island developments like this, Will all the special commemorative ceremony afterward? Oh! We'd like as many folks as possible to take part, so stop by resident services if you're interested. What? You're inviting people? Oh dear, never fails. Of course, this would happen right in the middle of a broadcast. Who's calling you? One moment, please. Is it the Able Sisters? Hello, this is Tom Nook from Nook Inc. Yes, what? The getaway package? Why, yes, yes, of course! And that's all for today's island-wide broadcast. That means people are wanting to move in. People, animals, you get the point. I'm excited. <laughs> I'm so sorry to put you on hold. Allow me to give you a full overview of the... Yeah, back away from Mike. Keep your secret business away from us. But we totally know what it is. Oh my gosh, look at the exterior of my house. It's super clean. I spent last night cleaning up my stuff. And not only that, I got revenge. So you know how I got bit by tarantulas twice? Not once, twice. Well, imagine how many tarantulas I caught afterwards. No one. No. Not two. Three. <laughs> Look at this! I also found another one of those really pretty butterflies. But these babies, they are gonna be sold. And I wanna see how much I make today. We also have mail. Oh my gosh! <gasps> we have a house! And he is home, Dom! Your house is so cute! Oh my goodness! Is this your mini crafting table? It's precious! You're welcome! Relax and make yourself at home in the room. Let's talk! Guess what? I finally own something that I even have trouble lifting. Yep, I have a house now! It's got walls, a floor, even a ceiling. I can finally do jumping jacks without ripping a hole in my home. <laughs> oh, Tom. You are so cute. I gotta see if Tammy also has a house. Look at the tree. They now grow a little bit differently than they did in previous games. They... It looks like one branch grows bigger than the other. <laughs> Let me go check out the mail. I got too distracted. His house is way nicer than mine. I am jealous. Daisy May! Dear Bayberry folks, I'll be heading to your island every Sunday morning to sell my precious turnips. Just the way my grandma used to. Used to? She doesn't anymore? Joan retired? Let's hope she just retired. <laughs> be seeing you, Daisy May. She didn't come last Sunday, though. Let me go see here. Nook Miles, what is it? Active Island President. Life on the island has lots of promise, huh? To illustrate this, I'll award you some Nook Miles based on the number of active days you've spent here. Take, Please take them and enjoy them. Thank you very much. We played for three days. Only three days. Wow. And we already did so much. Oh my gosh, okay, okay. Look at Nook's cranny! And we have the trees on the side of it, it's perfect. 
the location. I knew what I was doing. Not really. But let's pretend I did. Oh, it's Mabel. <laughs> I almost dropped my controller. I was worried when I heard you were all moving to a desert island, but this is much nicer than I imagined. Oh my gosh. It's so nice, so nice, even though we haven't been here all that long. Just free days. In a, just a short time, Blooders has moved in and we were able to open up the shop. Experiencing new things every day has been a lot of fun. A lot of fun. I'm so pleased to hear that. Actually, I came here today to check in on all of you and see if you need any assistance with anything. Clothing. It's our way of celebrating your new shop, you know, we sisters like to help whenever we can. Any island ideas come to mind? A clothing store? You're too kind, Mabel. We're just overwhelmed that you even thought to come, come visit us. Visit us. Oh, hey, I think... Something come to mind? Give her the job! <laughs> well, we still have some logistical challenges to overcome. We depend on mail orders for a lot of our goods. Having the shop should make it a bit easier for us to obtain ready-made furniture and stuff like that, but we still need a clothing supplier. Ah, something tells me that today is your lucky day. As it turns out, it's really not that difficult for us to get to this island. How about if I stop by every so often to sell some of our wares to your wonderful island dwellers? Oh, so that's why we saw Mabel at like the um, the central area selling some stuff, some items. Just like we saw cakes and we saw... I think we also saw KK there in some screenshots. Like way before the game came out. Oh wow, do you really mean that? Our residents will be so overjoyed. I will be so overjoyed if you opened up a store, Mabel. Do we need to buy like a certain number of items or we need to spend a certain amount of money for it to open up? I don't know. Of course, silly. If we can sell our goods here, it's a win-win situation for everyone. I suppose with that settled, I should head home and work out the details with my sister. Your sister? Not plural. What happened to Lavelle? Yes, please do that, do that. We can't wait to see you here again. I really can't. Hi! Oh! Oh, Claudia, sorry to keep you waiting. It's no problem at all. Thanks to your help, we've opened this amazing new shop. Our shop is named in honor of a, sh a shop, our beloved president. <laughs> no kiss to run. <laughs> our beloved leader, our president, Mr. Tom Nook. My gosh, we're treating him with respect in this game. Welcome to Nook's Granny. As you can see, we're offering ready-made furniture and items that can't be made as DIY projects. Also, in the back cabinet with the tools and other miscellaneous goods, we have wallpaper and flooring, finally! We hope to fulfill all your shopping needs. My house is looking like hot garbage. Look at this flower right here. I have some very similar here at home. My dad is really into gardening. Seems like you've int you're interested in an Anturian plant. I'll buy it. It's pretty. What is that on the ground? Is that like a planner thing? Low screen. What? What is that? I'll buy it. <laughs> is this a crystal wall or... Oh, is it like a ball where you put your hands and then... I think I know what it is. The plasma ball. That is a lot of money. I'll pass. <laughs> Sorry. Let me go take a look at the cabinets. The shop is so cute. Curious about what's in the cabinets, here's what we have today. Oh, we have a dotted umbrella. And some... an orange windflower bag. They're selling hybrids? The party popper. Oh, I'll just take one. Oh, is my inventory full? Mm. 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 Let me see the rest! <laughs> I want to see how much I need to carry. Okay, let's see. Let's see. White tulip, white 
windflower, tulip, cedar sapling. Test your DIY skills. I already bought this one, the DIY for beginners. Gold wrapping paper. Do we have different types of wrapping paper? Dude, that's crazy. And we also have, oh my goodness. Look at the dotted flooring. The heart pattern wall? No. Okay, I want this. <laughs> I might get this, sh or actually, I don't know. I like the color of the wood, but now that I know it's a ship deck and I see that thing in the center, it doesn't look as lovely as I thought. <laughs> so maybe I won't buy it. So I'll buy the wall. And maybe the orange flowers and that DIY thing. Okay, I need three slots. I'm a big spender, man. <laughs> oh, and this is probably where I need to sell my tarantulas. If I sold my tarantulas, I would have enough ma enough slots available already. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> I just woke up. Give me a break, okay? This is too much. Oh. With our new shop come free new services. Ooh. Turnips! Oh, okay, so we probably needed to build the shop for Daisy May to come. Because how else would we be able to sell the turnips? We can only sell them now. I've heard the turnip market is about to take off here on the island. You'll probably see a turnip seller soon. We'll buy any turnips you have on hand. The price is set in the morning and afternoon, so be sure to stop by. One note, we don't accept turnips on Sundays. That's the day the turnip seller visits town. It's all a big gamble. You just play the game and if you lose, you lose. The second new service involves a hot item of the day. The hot item will change every day. If you bring one in to sell, we'll give you a double. Okay, we had this at retail. You can check the hot item of the day in sign in front. Uh huh, just like in retail. Do we not have retail? Are we not gonna see recent Cyrus? Oh. And the last new service we're offering is a drop off box. You can find it in front of the shop. Say you're in a hurry or the shop is closed, you can just drop off any items you won't sell. Easy, right? We'll pay you later by sending the funds directly to your bank account. And should I mention a few things? There is a handling fee and we don't accept turnips. And hot items will sell for just their regular price. And I think that wraps it up. It's okay, Timmy. Uh, I won't sell. Uh, the tarantulas. <laughs> Let's see. How much will we make? Mm, they're both thinking. Oh yeah, that will do. And now I want to see how much the butterfly sells for, because I don't know. Maybe it's a rare one. Here we go. Ooh, it is worth quite a lot. Nice, we have 43,000. What bug is that? I've never seen it. I don't want to scare it away, but I also don't see it anymore. I... Oh. It's in the weeds. Get out of here. What? Oh my gosh, look at my flowers. They are beautiful. Oh, it's a tiger beetle, yeah. Look at my beautiful flowers. These are new. Did we get... Oh? I see something growing. What could it be? I don't know, I do not know, but I'm excited. Oh, the peaches have grown again. Wow, today looks like a really gorgeous day. Well, let's see if Tammy has a house now as well. Oh, there's another one of you. Boom, I'll sell you. <laughs> oh, a new rock spawned in. Look at Tammy's house, it's so cute as well. Oh, not the tree. Calm down. <laughs> Control your anger. Let's go say hi. They're always 
stuck inside their homes. It's like they want us to go in and see their stuff. Oh, they all have the same crafting tables, just in different colors. Tammy! Yo, you heard. Thanks for stopping by. Wanna chat? Big news, I have officially moved on from tent life. I got a house, you heard? I heard and I saw. I mean, tents are cool and all, but I can fit way more stuff in my in a house. Plus, now it finally feels like I actually live here instead of just roughing it. True. She also has a little stereo on the lamp. Oh. Goodbye, Tammy. We have a lot of rocks to break today. Okay, just need to calm down for a sec. There's way too much going on. And I kind of don't want to do like the same stuff over and over again on video. I might leave a lot of the um, gathering materials for off camera. Or maybe some special occasions. Bell ringer. Whoop whoop. We, have, we totally have enough nook miles to go on another journey. On another trip to another island. Let me go say hi to Tom. Who are you talking to, mister? Yes, of course. Don't worry about a thing. We can set up your getaway package to include a lovely furnished home. That is a lie. Or is he changing the plan to now include a home? Mm-hmm. Oh, not at all. We're all set up your moving data all the time. No, no, no trouble at all. I just need to draw up the proper contracts. Understood. We will get back to you very soon. Thank you. Is it sucker? Hi. Don't worry about it. I suppose you overheard that call I just got. For some time now, I've been advertising Bay Berry Getaway Package. And now, wouldn't you know, out of the blue, we have three interested bodies. Free? They're all gonna move in at the same time? It's quite wonderful. Thank you, thank you. Uh, wonderful except for one minor little detail. None of our applicants are too fond of the notion of sleeping in tents, you see. <laughs> so I had to change the plan a little bit. I'm afraid I got caught up in the excitement of persuading them to move here and I may have promised them fully furnished homes. Yeah, I noticed that. Free homes, setting aside the land, preparing all the furnishings. It's just too much for one raccoon. You have your nephews. Oh, You got me, man? Rely on me. But Claudia, here you are, in my hour of need. It most certainly must be fate. Would you help me get these homes repaired, all three of them? Of course, I will have to give you a good and proper thank you for your assistance. Money. Or can you cut off something from the payment that I have to do to you? <laughs> I'll do it, Tom. I'll never forget this. You better not. Oh, you're going to need some top secret instructions. When you're ready, come talk to me. Use the phrase, what should I do? Is it nook out? <laughs> Why is this a sound to be a secret mission? Oh gosh, this is silly. Oh, and I didn't even buy my nook ticket. I'll be back. No worry. What did I want to do? My head is like, <laughs> there's just too much stuff going on. We also have the museum. I gotta sell one of the bugs and give one to the museum. There is just so much going on. And look at all the wonderful things I have for bladders. He's gonna be so excited to assess all the stuff, especially the bugs. He's gonna love that. <laughs> Let me put that on the ground. Place this. Oh, guys, I also caught a koi fish. They are so pretty. I caught them in the heart ponds. It was a beautiful moment. Okay, so let me go to Nook Scranny. I'm gonna buy what I wanted. Hello? Did I buy the plant? Why is it still there? I guess it's unlimited stock. They have more than one. Okay, then. Okay, let's see. So I want... Oh, I was also curious about the party popper. But I'm not gonna have enough inventory space for that. The white wind flower. I do want that one. They don't let me choose like two. <laughs> then I'll just buy one. Uh, let's do the test your skills DIY, even though it's a little pricey. 
I'll buy it. I gotta see when it's my villager's birthday. Because I don't know their birthdays. Okay. Let's see what recipes we got. Oh, actually, we gotta keep buying. I can't believe they're selling peaches for 400 bells. There's plenty outside. Ah, uh, I'll buy one. Thank you very much. Uh, let's go to the wallpapers. I want the yellow heart wallpaper. It just looks too cute to pass. Okay. No, this is it. Thank you so much. Now I'll be going. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go ahead and actually plant... I think th these are windflowers, right? So I should plant white right next to them. <gasps> it's a ladybug. I don't think I've caught one yet. Hi. Oh, so cute. Sorry to disturb you, ma'am. Okay, I'm gonna go to my house. I'm gonna see the yellow heart wallpaper. Really excited for that one. I'm also trying not to run over any flowers since I have flowers now in my town. Okay. Place. <gasps> it is precious. Oh, I might leave this like forever. <laughs> forever and ever. Let me go put this one in storage. Let's just put some of the stuff that I don't need in storage. Actually, let me place this. It's just a little tiny thing. I don't know what this is for. Let me place this one. I'm just gonna have a ton of plants, apparently. It was not my intention, but it just happens, you know? <laughs> Sometimes you just buy too many plants. Oh, what is it now? Oh, hard reward, wow. Put more furniture in your house and you'll get Nook Miles. Thank you very much. <laughs> Let me go check my Creepedia. It's starting to fill up rather nicely. Look at all these. Oh, I really don't want to check the, the details. I hate, hate, hate bugs. Oh, I hate it. <laughs> Like, these are, I'm not even that scared of. Like, the ones that I'm the most scared of are like mantis, grasshoppers. Those freak me out so much. Especially the mantis. The mantis are, I'm the most terrified of. Oh god. Like, the beetles don't scare me too much, but like, when I see teeny tiny legs, oh, I'm out. I'm out. <laughs> oh, Tarantula is cute though. <laughs> and when it comes to the fish. We caught a birling, we caught a carp. The koi, it's so pretty. An olive flounder, the bear knife shaw, that's it. Also, let me see what recipes we got. Oh, the mini DIY workbench for our house. Dude, this is the um, kitty furniture, but in wood. I love the kitty furniture. Are we gonna be able to recolor it later on? Because the pastel colors are... Oh, they're beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. Oh, can you imagine putting this outside? It's so, so pretty. Oh, I love it. If we are able to recolor this as we go on, which I think we're gonna be able to, it's just gonna be... Oh, I'm gonna be in heaven. <gasps> Archimantis. You, I'm not super scared of, surprisingly enough. I don't know if it's because you're pink and you look like a ballerina. <laughs> you're cute. I just don't want to see you up close, so let me put my hand in front of the TV screen. And okay, very cool. What's the description? Our friendship is moving. No, it's not. Get away from my face. Okay. Oh god, it is pretty to look at as like a little icon, but like in real life, no, 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 no. No, fam. <laughs> Bugs don't bug me, they do bug me. But what can I do? I love collecting. 
like the thing that I love the most about Anne Crossing is just collecting stuff. And filling up the museum is one of my favorite things to do. I can't help it. Look, there are too many trees growing in front of the museum. Let me just dig up this. It's probably a fossil. And I'm super excited to say hi to Bladders! It's gonna be your first time meeting Bladders. Are you guys ready? I'm just gonna grab a few things to bring them. Okay, it's full. We'll just go in. Oh, oh my gosh. Now would be a good time to be recording a night, wouldn't it? Like I usually do. <laughs> Who? 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 I beg your pardon. I'm a bit of a night owl, don't you know? Drowsy in the daytime. Ah, but more importantly, hoo-hoo, if it isn't Claudia. At long last, the Bay Bearing Museum has opened this very day, no less. An impressive feat of engineering, craftsmanship, and good old island ingenuity, is it not? Of course, it was your very own donations that made it possible, so to you, I say thank you. Now, allow me to give you a quick overview of our fine institution's floor plan. You'll find that there are entrances to the to left, to the right, and into the basement. Each one leads to exhibit rooms where in the donations collected thus far have been put on display. Ah, oh, that's right, I have more good news to report, that is, the donation process has been streamlined. Henceforth, we will accept multiple donations all at once, good. Furthermore, if you wish to learn more about a fossil or a fish or a bug, I suppose, Simply say, tell me about this. Who? As a deep knot, I will happily oblige. Now, by all means, do please take a gander at our magnificent collection. It is surely a thing of wonder. I kind of want to go take a look at what I have donated so far. It's not much, but we could take a look. The museum is so beautiful. And I can't believe I'm starting with bugs. <laughs> oh, you can see the wasp up there in the tree. I cannot control my camera, but I probably can, like, go to the camera. And this way I can zoom in and I can see things much closely, you know? Every time I take a screenshot, I just panic. Because <laughs> the screen goes black. Oh! Oh my gosh, is this where we're gonna have the... Um... The, the, the scissor bug, I forgot its name. <laughs> you guys know what I mean. Is this where we have that beautiful, beautiful area where we can sit down? Oh, it is. This is where we're gonna have our butterflies. Oh my gosh. You know, I only donated one of each, but somehow there's multiple. <laughs> Oh my gosh, let me go take a picture. Actually, I shouldn't. It creeps me out every time I do it. You guys can... Am I stuck? <laughs> Honestly, not complaining. This place is wonderful. Oh, I'm going into the light. Oh. That's the moth right there. Moth, oh. Wait, all of this just for one bug? Really? Oh my goodness. Is this where we're gonna have the tarantula and the scorpion? What about here? Oh, we have like a little lab. Oh my God. We humbly ask for your donations to add to our displays. Oh my god. I'm in heaven. <gasps> Is this a place for the hermit crab? I don't know. There's an, a carnivorous plant. Oh. And we're here again. Oh, I didn't go through here before. Oh. 
Okay. Oh. So pretty. It's probably where the beetles are gonna go. Because they like to stay on tropical trees. We even have butterflies here. Let me go up this way now. Whoa. Is this like the new leaf tree? It's enormous. You must have played a lot in this museum. <laughs> To get a tree that big. Oh my gosh, is that like a little seating area? It's so lovely. Oh my god, why has no one talked about this gigantic tree? Can we sit? No, we can't. That would be perfect if we could. What about over here? Oh, I, I was already here. I'm kind of lost. <laughs> Wait. Let me just go for the way I came through. And we'll be fine. See, I remember the wasp. So now we just say it free here. Okay. Yeah, it is a little bit hot out. There's nothing up here. Makes me wonder if there could be something more to the museum. You never know. Oh, but look at the dinosaur area. Oh my gosh. Okay. Oh, wow. Oh my god, it's beautiful. The level of detailing. Oh my god. This is amazing. <gasps> Triceratops skull. Whoa. Whoa, what's this? It doesn't explain. Oh, it was when... Okay. I see it now. Okay, so I don't know where to go next. Okay, so this just goes around. Let me go through here. Apollo, Melba, <laughs> any of the kangaroos. Oh, what's that? Ellie? That's Daisy. That's Tutu or Teddy. You guys uh, tell me what villagers you think of when you see this. Wait, are they suggesting that the villagers are the descendants of the dinosaurs? Okay. <laughs> what? I wonder what fossils are going to be displayed here. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited to fill this one up. It was the first collection I completed in New Leaf. It was the fossils. If you dig them up every day, it doesn't take you very long. Oh my gosh, bladders! Let's go check out the fish. Maybe we can check on the museum, like, at the end of every week. To see the progress. But I don't know how many new fish I'm gonna be able to catch. Look at them! You know, we can go for a week not catching any new fish. I don't know where else is gonna go. Oh, the bitterling. Yellow perch. So lovely.
And let me go over here. Oh my goodness. Oh, it's so lonely. The horse mackerel is so lonely. You got the tank all to yourself, dude. Lucky you. <laughs> oh, this is what I'm gonna get lost. Oh, I can stick my head. Oh, how cool. Where does this take me? Oh! Oh, this is the area. Everyone's been flipping about. <gasps> Look at the tab. What is it, the olive flounder? We'll never know. <laughs> Oh, the sea butterfly! What is that? Oh, we can see it from above. Okay. And we are back to where we started. This is so lovely. Oh my gosh. They nailed it. No planners. I have things for you. I'm so sorry to wake you up. So let's go. Let's have some fossils. I don't know how many I have. I have one. <laughs> I should actually have multiple for this one. So let's see what he has to say. Hmm, indeed. Oh, this is most assuredly a brachio skull. Another skull. Of course I will donate it. I'll donate everything to you bladders. Dear me, might I give you a short presentation on topic? I am quite knowledgeable, you know? Please do. Brachiosaurus, whose name means arm lizard. A what? Was one of the largest herb herbivorous dinosaurs. Due to its long front legs and elongated neck, it seems to have specialized in eating plants up high. Alas, in order to support its large size, it likely needed to eat more or less every waking hour. What a ferocious forger it must have been indeed. And that is what I have to say about that. Any hoot, I will gladly accept your generous donation. I only hope we can find more of what remains of this fossil so we can display it in its fully assembled form. Many thanks to you and best of luck. Is there anything else I can help you with? Let's make some donations. Let's see. The Orchid Mantis. Actually, I'm gonna leave that one for last. I want to see what he has to say about that one. Is this an actual bug that exists in real life? If so, I'm terrified. Because <laughs> I didn't know they existed. Look at the nades like these free bugs. Yes, and it, they're all bugs. <laughs> it doesn't react the way that I expected it to. Oh, it doesn't go into details if you donate them in a the bulk. That's good, I left the Orchid Mantis for last then. Here you go, Bladders. Your favorite. It's an insect. Eek! An Orchid Mantis! What a ratchet thing! <laughs> Unless I'm obligated to ask, would you like to learn more about the specimen? Please tell me, Bladders. I see. In that case, uh... The Orchid Mantis is a bug whose brilliant colors and petal shaped limbs give it the look of a flower. This masterful mimicry allows it to hide from predators in among the orchids. Oh, but this fraudulent flower it lures other insects in to drink its nectar and makes a meal out of them instead. Imagine to behold a beautiful bud only to discover it's a bug instead. A repulsive relation it did. Any hoot, my sincerest thanks for your donation. And though bugs are the bane of my existence, rest assured the wretched thing will get the best of care. <laughs> 
I freaking love bladder so much. Uh, actually, I'm gonna grab a few more things and I'll be right back, bladders. I want to hear what he has to say about the tarantula. And let me see what else we have here. We have loads to give him. Uh, let's see what he has to say about snail. Snails are nice. What could he say about that? Let's make a donation. Let's see what he has to say about the tarantula. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. What a wretched thing. Of course I want to learn more, bladders. Teach me. As giant spiders go, the tarantula is said to be quite docile, but have you ever seen such foul fuzziness? It is a fact tarantulas have barbed belly hair. I say again, barbed belly hair. These awful arachnids let loose their spiky, itchy hairs to protect themselves from predators. But seeing how tarantulas also prey on frogs, mice, and even birds, one must ask, who needs protecting from whom? Who? Who indeed? Any hoots? My sincerest thanks for your donation. <laughs> uh, what about a snail? Uh, what's your opinion on snails, bladders? I'm super interested now. Snails are not insects, I'll admit, but they are just as revolting to me. Snails are mollusks, you see, and are born wearing shells they cannot remove. Instead, their shells get bigger and bigger as they grow. Who? They must get a heavy, don't you know? I suppose that's why they need a trail of muckus to move around, a truly foul form of transportation. Any hoots? My serious thanks. See? Snails are nice. My mom is scared of snails. But they're nice. <laughs> Uh, let's donate a fish this time, because it is a huge contrast. Oh, why? This is a koi! Now, might I interest you in a few fascinating facts about your koi? Please. Wonderful, I would love nothing more. Koi are a variety of carp bred for their color mutations, starting more than a thousand years ago. Well, one glance at their impressive coloring tells you that the centuries of effort were worth it. And even today, people still selectively breed koi in search of new color combinations. One marvels at the thought of what the koi may look like in another thousand years. And there you have it! Fascinating stuff, no? Rest assured, all donations are displayed in a timely manner. You have my gratitude. <laughs> He's so pleased with the fish. Okay, I'm gonna donate him um, these things in a bulk, and I might just leave the rest for like later. I'm gonna pick the game up at night and donate it to him because I hate waking him up. It's already been an hour recording. Oh, time flies by. Let me see here. We unlocked some nook miles. The fossil assessment. And there we go. I wanna go visit an island. <laughs> Shall we do it, people? Oh, but before we do, let me see if I can find some more sand dollars. I just need one more. That's literally it. Just one more game. Be nice. No, 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 not that. Okay, so now we can craft ourselves a table and a really pretty one. At least it looks like in the previous photo. Dom is fishing again. I'll let him be. Probably black bass, I'm not even gonna bother. Let's see, let's see. I'm really excited to decorate my home. I probably don't even have like all the stuff that I need to make it look presentable. And I don't know a lot of recipes yet, but I still want to make something pretty. And this shell table looks beautiful. Let's see how this looks like. Come on, there's no room? 
how the heck is this gonna fit in my house <laughs> if there is no room outside? Oh my god, look at this table! This fits really well with Dom's house. I could probably make him like a little seating area and put like some juice in it, on top of it. So that he can have a refreshing drink after a jog and maybe sit down and maybe fish by the light because he does love fishing, he's always fishing. Oh, that would be nice. Oh, by the way, let's go talk to Tom. Oh my gosh, there's so much. Should I just leave the tour for another day? Because I feel like I'm doing so much in every single part. And I can totally like leave some things for another day. I'm just so excited to do things. <laughs> Why do you have golf stuff in your office <laughs> now that TV and Tommy moved out? You're feeling a little bored, Tom. Um, I wanna... What should I do? I'm ready. Totally ready. I have no idea where I'm gonna put plots, but let's do it. Oh! Building a bridge! With free homes to build, I worry that we'll run out of space on land that is easily accessible. A bridge will open things up a bit and make it easier to get to household housing plots during construction. So that's why I like you to start by crafting the parts for the bridge base. Get your DIY skills. We're crafting it? And then you'll want to decide on a prime location for the bridge too. Oh my gosh, this is a lot of work. Tom, <laughs> you didn't tell me there was a bridge involved. And then I just sent you a recipe for a bridge construction kit. You can find it on your Nuke phone. Oh my gosh, that's gonna require so much wood. Once you've assembled your bridge construction kit, find a good spot for a bridge and then check in with me. Mm -hmm. No worries. Okay. What do we need for the bridge? I'm scared. <laughs> um, da -da 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 -da. What is it? <laughs> oh, there it is. We need log stakes. What the heck? Oh, it's those things down here. Yeah, 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 yeah. We need three. Okay, this is gonna be fun craft. Let's just speed it up. Thankfully, I have enough wood. I don't know how. It's just two. <laughs> oh, I need four. Oh my gosh. Fine. I have wood. <laughs> okay, now we can make a bridge. Well, that was easy. Actually, a lot easier than I thought it would be. Kind of a shame that we can only make this one. Well, I'm all done. Let's go place the sucker. Also, what do you want, phone? DIY furniture. Okie dokie. So... Let's see, as we're gonna have residents in our town, we actually don't have a lot of other free space. If you look at our map, I was thinking about putting someone next to Tammy. Because I do feel like she's a little bit lonely over there. And I also thought initially of putting a bridge next to our house. Like, right over here. Let's see how that would look. Hmm. It does work. Let me imagine it. I didn't know a bridge would be this wide. Oh, but it is, it is actually... It's like the old bridges. It looks like it is three tiles wide in the preview, but it's actually two. I don't know, can we move it a little bit to the side? <laughs> I want to center it. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, okay. No, it doesn't work. Fine, then. It'll be here. Yeah, I think this will be it. Terrific. We got a bridge. But if three villagers are moving in, it actually shouldn't be too hard to find a house, a house placement for them. We're gonna have one living close to Tammy. But like, not super close. Maybe like on this side, like right here on this little nook. 
And I was kind of thinking of having a house like next to Dom and me. Because here's the thing, I have my house over there, but it's not going to be over there, like forever. I'm going to move it eventually. And I don't want Dom to be alone. So we could put it like maybe down here, below the, the little lake. Like over here, in this area, it would be nice. And then I could just put another house up on the area where I'm going to build the bridge. Where the bridge is going to connect to. Like, it shouldn't be too hard to think about these things. And since we can always move them later, I'm not too worried. I did it, Tom! What now? So, did you find a good place to deploy your bridge construction kit? Yeah. Splendid, excellent work, thank you. Then tomorrow we'll have a new bridge up and it'll be even easier to get around the island. Now that that's out of the way, it's time to start on some homes. We can wait for the bridge construction to finish if you want, or just ask me what should I do whenever. Tom, what should I do? <laughs> Please. Oh no. Yes, I, I want to. Thank you. Okay, I thought it wasn't going to work. I thought it was going to give me like a speech about being patient. <laughs> This is Animal Crossing, you gotta chill for one moment. With the housing kits I just gave you, you'll pick out plots for free homes. Then of course these homes will need furniture and such. Oh, furniture. Each housing kit comes with a list of the furniture required for its house. Oh, so much work. You can build everything DIY style, so let me just send you the recipes you'll need. So the villagers are not going to move in all at the same time. If I only finish one house, only one is going to move in, right? Or maybe... I don't know. Maybe they're only going to move in after I have all the houses ready. <sighs> it's giving me a headache. <laughs> and you wanted me to wait for tomorrow, Tom. Please. There's so much to do. I gotta get started immediately. Plot one, plot two, plot three, okie dokie. Let's go! So I was thinking of having one home right here. What the heck? Why does it need so much space? Let me imagine it. I don't think I can move it up anymore. This is gonna have to do. Why does he need so much space? I might not be able to place the house next to the lake. Dude, what? Oh, my phone is ringing. <gasps> Hello? Is that you, Claudia? Tom Nook, what? why are you calling me? <laughs> How goes your search for housing land? I got some ideas. Stupendous, I'm relieved to hear that everything is going accordingly to plan. Be sure to check the box in front of the plot for each home. It'll show the items required for that plot. Interior items should be placed in the box, while exterior items should be placed outside around the lot. Huh. We want to make it look nice and decorative now. Hmm. Once you set up the plots for all three homes and place the required items, come report back to me. I'll be waiting in resident service. Thanks again for your help. Oh my gosh, are you kidding me? Okay. Interior items, what do we need? Peach surprise box, peach chair, and a pot. What? <laughs> of course I don't have anything to turn in. Check procedures. Okay. Wait, do I know the recipes? For each thing? Oh my goodness. Oh my god. <laughs> 
Now this screams Bayberry. This is what I envisioned for the town. It's so cute. And yet in team with nature. Oh my god. Okay, so for the second home, I want it to be like somewhere around here. And I don't know if it's gonna work. Oh god. It doesn't. It doesn't work. Why didn't I put Tammy's house over here from the start? Now it's not gonna work. Like it's gonna work right here. <sighs> Can I move it like one to the side? One to the right? It's going to block the path up. Like, can villagers put fences around their homes? Wait, I need to rethink it. Can I move it down one? Because if they're gonna place a fence around it... I'm still gonna want to go up there, you know? So maybe here. Let's imagine it. Okay, I guess this is gonna have to do. Okay. Oh, Tom again. What does he want? Uh, Claudia? It's me again, sorry for the computer calls. I forgot to tell you something important. You see, you'll need to get a wreath made from flowers. There are plenty of pretty flowers growing on cliffs on the island, so toodle up there if you need to. I've already sent you the recipe for a letter. Oh my god. <laughs> it's the ideal tool for when you need to scale those cliffs. Why do things keep happening? It's too much. <laughs> I want to finish the video. And he'll keep up the good work, huh? Oh my gosh, Tom, there's just... Why is there so much going on? <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna place the third plot and then I'm gonna end this video. I'm gonna call it a day and then we'll pick up the next day. I don't care if things don't get done today. I might like craft a few things just so that we don't have to craft them on camera. But, like, my god, there's so much going on now. Maybe put a house like right here. Like right over here, maybe. No? Oh gosh. Why do they need so much space? <laughs> it's still too close to the ledge. Where do you want me to place it, huh? How the heck do people place houses next to cliffs? <laughs> what? Like, this is gonna have to do. We can always move it later on. I gotta keep reminding me myself that. Okay, awesome. We did it. Tom didn't call me. Well, that's a surprise, isn't it? Actually, I wanna take a look at the exterior items and then we'll end this video. Okay? Just gonna take a look at this. Okay. A stone stool, I have that. A stone table and a clothesline. Interesting. Let me go take a look at plot three and what he wants. Is it the same stuff? I just know there's gonna be so much crafting. Oh, maybe I'll get one done off camera. Like one house done. It's different stuff. Wooden simple bed, wooden chair, classic picture. Huh. Okay. Yeah, it's gonna be different stuff. This is gonna take forever. Oh, wow. Okay, I'm gonna be in this video here. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm gonna get one house finished. And we'll see if someone moves in. Or if we have to complete them all to get them done. What are you doing, buddy? Always gonna water the flowers for me. What a sweetheart. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And until the next one, goodbye, everybody. Take care.